Hey! In this video I'm going to show you quickly a classic finger picking pattern that gets the thumb alternating between different bass notes. We're going to use easy chords, G, E minor, C and D. And we're going to have this thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one pattern. So we'll end up with... take the pattern uh, over lots of different chords and lots of different styles you could use a capo to easily change the key it's a really cool three digit pattern so thumb two one kind of going thumb two thumb one thumb two thumb one thumb two thumb one I'll show you uh, the strings you need to pluck and how it's going to sound over those chords let's jump in it's a four note pattern that repeats twice in each bar. So we get thumb on the low E, or the lowest note in the chord. We take a G to start with. We're going to go thumb on the E, two on the B, thumb on the D, one on the G. That's thumb E, two B, thumb D, one G. They're all quavers. And we get that. If we change to E minor, we can go thumb on the E, two on the B, thumb on the D, one on the G. So you get so thumb E, two B, thumb D, one G. So we went G. Then we could chuck a C major in there. Now thumb isn't gonna play the E now, because that's not in the chord, that low E. We play thumb A, two B, thumb D, one G. Thumb A, 2B, thumb D, 1G. Then we might change to a D. Now the thumb doesn't play the E or the A, it plays the D. 2 plays B, uh, sorry, 2 plays high E, thumb plays G, 1 plays B. So that could give us... Slowly it's Hey, I'm sure you'll agree it's a, it's an easy pattern. Uh, to quite quickly get into your playing and really add some variety rather than strumming or kind of breaking up uh, chords in a random way trying to finger pick we've got a distinct pattern we can use there's uh, materials over on our Patreon page so check that out patreon.com forward slash soundhunt music uh, loads of worksheets and lessons over there more going up all the time if you like this video please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel thank you very much bye